Hey guys, I'm Nick, and on this episode of The Scram Line, I'm gonna show you guys how to make these coconut pineapple macarons. Most of you got the guessing game right that I play over on Insta uh, Instagram and Facebook. Uh, before we get stuck into this, a couple updates for you guys. Now, the first one, is that videos are now coming out on Tuesdays and Fridays instead of Mondays and Fridays. Uh, if you've got any thoughts about this, leave it in the comments down below. I just wanted a bit more of a gap between videos coming out. Second thing, um, you guys know I'm a big fan of Kenwood. I did an ad with them. Um, you can go check that out on my Facebook and Instagram. So go and follow me over there if you're not already. Links are in the description box below. Um, I also would like to do a Q&A with you guys. I haven't really done one in a while and I know that there's a lot of new people and you, pro you, you probably have questions. So, uh, I mean, of course, those of you who've been around for a while, you're welcome to ask questions. You can ask personal questions, questions relating to cupcakes, macarons, anything about baking. If I can answer it, I'm gonna answer it. Now, with that, do you guys want me to do something that's pre-recorded where you guys leave a comment down below and I answer it? Or do you guys want me to do a live one? So I can do either live on here, which I've never done before, or I can do one on Facebook. Um, leave me, let me know in the comments down below. In the next video, I'll, I'll let you guys know how it's gonna work and you can ask me questions. It's either gonna be live or in the comments down below. Okay. These cupcakes, I wanted to make something tropical because it's getting warmer in America now, it's getting cooler in Australia, but I want to be reminded of the warmer weather. So I'm making a uh, vanilla macaron with coconut buttercream frosting coated in coconut. And in the center is a pineapple curd, kind of like lemon curd, but with pineapple instead. I'm going to show you guys how to make it. These are the ingredients you need to make these pineapple coconut macarons. Okay guys, so the ingredients you're going to need are some sugar, icing sugar, almond meal, you're going to need some coconut chips, some egg whites, so I've separated those into two bowls. You're going to need two lots of egg whites for two parts of the recipe. Some cold butter, coconut essence, some vanilla extract, yellow food dye, water, some pineapple juice, some egg yolks, and some eggs. And guys, if you're watching this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I upload two new videos a week. We're gonna start off by popping our icing sugar and our almond meal into a food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can just use a sift and you wanna sift it three times. Now we're adding half in at a time because the food processor can only hand handle so much. So we're gonna make a little well in the center. I've just transferred it to a bowl and I'm gonna add my first lot of egg whites. And we're going to mix this. At first it's going to feel like it's not going to come together because there's too many dry ingredients. But just keep mixing, it will come together. You want to cover this with plastic wrap and set it aside. We're going to move on to making our syrup next. So in a saucepan I'm going to add my water and sugar. And guys you can see the candy thermometer there. I'm using a candy thermometer for this. I get asked every single time can I make this without a candy thermometer. You can do it without a candy thermometer. There are ways to do it. Look it up on Google. I prefer to do it with a candy thermometer. It's much, much easier to get an accurate temperature. Now, once you reach 115 degrees Celsius, you're gonna put your second batch of egg whites on to start frothing up. When you reach 118 degrees Celsius, you wanna very slowly, in a thin and steady stream, add your very hot syrup to your egg whites while your mixer is on high speed. Now after a couple minutes of mixing, maybe about two or three minutes, you wanna add your vanilla extract and you're gonna add your yellow food dye as well. Now you wanna get it nice and thick and glossy to the point where you, if you turn it upside down, none of it comes pouring out. We're gonna add a spatula full of our meringue to our almond mixture from earlier on and we're gonna mix that until it's well combined. Then we're gonna add the rest of our meringue and we're gonna mix it until we reach the ribbon stage. Now, this is the point where a lot of people make a mistake. They overmix the batter and you get cracked meringues or you get hollow meringues. The best way to, to mix the batter is to go around the bowl with a spatula and then through the batter. And what that does is it deflates the batter and it gets it a little bit thinner. Now, when you feel it's getting thin enough, you wanna start testing it. And the way to test it is if the batter falls off the spatula in a ribbon and disappears into the batter, after about 10 seconds, 
Then you know it's done. I'm gonna dab a little bit of that batter onto a baking tray. We're gonna line it with baking paper and I'm using a medium sized round tip to pipe these macarons about three centimeters in width. Once you've finished piping them, you wanna sprinkle some of those coconut chips on top and we're gonna tap the tray just to get any of those air bubbles up the top. We're gonna let these sit for about 30 minutes to dry and if we can touch them after about 30 minutes and it's not sticky, then you know they're done. We're gonna bake them for about 10 minutes. You wanna let them cool down completely before you try taking them off the tray. Moving on to our pineapple curd, we're gonna add our eggs and egg yolks into a large mixing bowl. Whisk goes up. Then you're gonna add your pineapple juice, vanilla extract and your sugar. Whisk it up and you're gonna microwave this. So you wanna microwave it about a minute at a time and then mix it each time with a whisk, just to make sure that those eggs don't scramble. Once the mixture has thickened and it'll take about five or six minutes, you want to add your cold butter in there and whisk it up. Once you have all of the butter in there, you're going to cover it with plastic wrap and set it aside in the fridge to set completely. To flavor your buttercream frosting, you're gonna add some coconut essence in there and mix it until it's well combined. Now I fitted the end of my piping bag with a Wilton number 32 piping tip. I'm going to frost my buttercream frosting in a swirl around the macaron and we're going to fill the center with that pineapple curd. Then we're going to sandwich it with another macaron before we coat the frosting in some coconut chips. And guys, that is pretty much it. Okay guys, so those were my pineapple coconut macarons. If you enjoyed this video, as usual, make sure you hit the like button because it lets me know that you like this video. And it also helps uh, get my video out there as well. So if you want to help me get that out, my video out there, my channel, hit the like button. Let's get to 2,000 likes on this video. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Scramline.